This wasn't about the women itself being low-hanging fruit. It was about the fact that you've picked vulnerable women who are easier to snatch up. We could care less about anybody wanting us. You go and run to those other countries rather than doing better for yourself. And the marriage that y'all talking about, we, we don't care. We have cared for years. Because he was not prepared for what he would lose in dating a black woman. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this one, I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to click the notification bell to ensure you get in my videos as soon as I release them. All right, guys. Now, we have it here, once again, more delusionals and undesirables hitting on the pass up, bros. But let me hop right into it. Um, also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the like button that shows the algorithm that we're here. So without further ado, let's do it. There's no way you could have a customer service job. No way. Respectfully, of course. I do, in fact, work in customer service. In fact, I have five jobs, two of which I've been... I work at as regularly as possible um but nevertheless um this isn't about my job this is more to do with this conversation and let's not pretend like when we're having this passport bros conversation we're not talking about exclusively black men that we know that there are other races of men that go running around to other countries trying to find a wife but for the most part this conversation is about black men because you all are the only ones stupid enough to get up on these platforms and wave your passports in front of the uh tvs i mean uh not tvs uh in front of laptops and phones like seriously you know fine and <laughs> I, I think it's cool you know you want to know what well, guys are doing especially black men they're letting it be known to others this is the way this is the way. I mean, do you know some guys are stuck under brainwashing techniques women have pulled for years? And what's happening with the passport bro movement is pulling them out of that. But let's let her finish. Find something else to do. Literally, find anything else to do. Now, I like how you took my little snippet about low-hanging fruit and didn't elaborate on that. This wasn't about the women itself being low-hanging fruit. It was about the fact that you've picked vulnerable women who are easier to snatch up. No comment. These women know you're from America. That's why when you come here, they, their tune changes when they hear your voice. Because they know an American when they hear it. You are from the land of opportunity. What woman wouldn't want to take advantage of that kind of situation? You assume too much. Yeah, some of them may genuinely like you, but ultimately, a lot of them are dating you because you are represent opportunity for them. And speaking of that, you brought up me talking about my ex. And yes, and that's what happens. See, women in the U.S. want to be the ones to be hypergamous and get away with it, right? Now, women in other countries, yes, they are hypergamous as well, but they offer something with their hypergamy. That's why guys ask a lot, what do you bring to the table? And I'm not going to say all women, but what do you bring to the table? Your five jobs? How is that going to help a man? I have five jobs, two of which I've been, I work at as regularly as possible. You having five jobs, customer service being one of them. What are you doing? Why are you working so hard? Talking about my ex being broke as if it was all about money. It wasn't about money. We didn't even break up about money. It had nothing to do with money and everything to do with me wanting him to advance more, wanting him to have more ambition for himself. And um, also because he was not prepared for what he would lose in dating a black woman. Look at you! Nothing to do, absolutely no conversations about uh, money whatsoever. But nevertheless, why is it that black men always think that we want some money that they don't even have? Stop it. Get some help. My conversations about my ex had less to do with that and more to do with the fact of security. It's about creating security for black women to rest in their femininity. If I know my man's got it and I don't have to worry, I'm chill. Okay. Same thing. Did you hear what she just said? Rewind that clip back again. It's about creating security for black women to rest in their femininity. <laughs> you can't make it up! Men providing security for black women 
to rest in their femininity. You shouldn't have to rest in your femininity. You should be feminine no matter what. Facts. You know, that's like you say to a man, hey, um, babe, um, I want to get busy in that. Which woman don't say. Women would rather withhold it, right? But still, imagine you say that. A man says, no, babe. I, I need you to make me rescue my masculinity. <laughs> then, or you say, babe, I need you to pick this up when you come from the store. Pick up that, those two big jugs of water and, and also that that uh, microwave we just bought, right? Because the microwave may be a little bit heavy for a woman. Or pick up that TV, right? No, babe. I got to... I need to rest in my masculinity first. You need to make me feel masculine. All up in y'all feelings in the paragraphs. Put that energy into writing a script, bro. And it would be a double-edged sword, right? I say, I gotta say, yeah, would you cook and and do this and, you know, give me something I wanted, then um, I'll rest in my masculinity. <laughs> wow. But nevertheless, it does not cease to end how you all hop up on these platforms and go and cry about how black women are too hard and then you go and run to these other countries because rather than rising to the occasion to create that kind of environment with these black women you go and run to the other countries it's delusional you see you see what she said rather than rising to the occasion it's rise to the occasion or else why can't you accept a man how he is right when just that's my bar my bar is here why can't you be basic because well, you are Emotional damage, and he be basic, and you accept that. Or how about you and your man move somewhere where it's extremely cheap? Then it can take care of you. Oh yes, there's places like that in the West. You can find them. How about you move somewhere that's extremely cheap, live off the bare minimum, right? Not go out and shop. Of course, go out to the shop for food and stuff like that. Not get anything nice, right? Don't look for any upgrades. And live off the bare minimum. I'm supposed to settle for regular type dude. Then he can help you rest in your femininity. On fifty thousand, you just need to live in a place where you can get by on twenty thousand. There's places out there, not many, but yeah, you want to rest in your femininity. Say, hey, babe, come to him. Say, babe, I want to rest in my femininity. I want to go somewhere where it's dirt cheap, live in a shack somewhere, and I'm gonna rest in my femininity. But no, you don't. You're not gonna do that, right? Because he has to rise up to the occasion. Why would you be settling and he wouldn't? So what would he be doing? Would he be upgrading? Okay, so if I wanted a high value man, what do I do? He has to keep up with the Joneses. And go and damage those women. You go and run to those other countries rather than doing better for yourself. Low value women playbook pathology shame shaming tactics insults and the insults can be your height your weight your money the way you look insults they are more they are more ready to give an insult than a compliment having more ambition and then oftentimes you find out when you get there that these places have different cultural expectations of you and that's what makes this whole situation even more hilarious you've never traveled See, it's not even that. Like, even when I was younger, I was, I've always been ambitious. Sometimes the women don't get it. You want to know why? You know what they always say? Because they, they expect guys. I'll tell you when I was younger, right? It was like this for a while. They expect the guys that are younger to have it all figured out. But that didn't even matter. I was the kind of guy when I was 25, I was pulling in sixty to 70000 a year, right? Reason why I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't go to college. I went straight to sales, got busy on sales. So I got myself at the right company where I could get sales and commission and, and, and have a good check coming in. And I got to the point where my commission checks every month were 4000 5000 added on to my hourly. So with everything combined, that was just about 45. I'm talking guys, I'm talking like almost 20 years ago. Then when you added in my hustle I had when I went home, that added up to make it 60, right? But not every guy is going to be like that. Not every guy is going to grind that same way. So if you're a regular woman, accept a regular man. Word. But anyway, on to the next video, guys. The vast majority of black women cannot compete with the... 
Grand Risings, Kings, Queens, Gods, and Goddesses. Don't scroll, just listen. If you want to go back and listen to her video, you can. But what she was speaking on is saying that we can't compete with the Passport Bros. As though we're trying. Because the Passport Bros are, we're not even competing with them. We don't care. And the marriage that y'all talking about, we, we don't care to be married. I'm good. I got my house. I got a car. My children. When God sent me somebody, that will not take me. But right now, I'm in my healing. You know, from the traumas that we have experienced throughout our lives as being looked upon as less than. And now we at the point that we don't give a that need to be said again and again. We don't give a Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. Them. And what they think. Because guess what? It's lonely at the top, baby. You don't have when you at the top spiritually, mentally, and financially, it is very lonely. And we have are elevating and making it to the top and we're looking down at this world like wow. They still down there fighting and fussing and they still doing all that crazy. We're looking at we're in the 5D, looking at the 3D. <laughs> like what? We could care less if they don't want us. We. She said she's in 5D, looking at 3D. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> care less if the black man don't want us, cause we sick of. We could care less about anybody wanting us, because we want us. I married myself. I'm very happy huh? together. That's important. You wanting yourself. <laughs> and with you wanting yourself, you track a love to yourself. If you can love yourself, anybody else can love you. That's what we doing. We somewhere healing. That's what the rest of the world need to be doing. Instead of trying to find mates and you so unhealed, got childhood trauma, soul ties, trauma bonds, and all this attached to you. And y'all go find these marriages and be stuck in these marriages for years and years and years because you're not financially able. No, we ain't doing that no more. No, we healing. And if you can't get to the level of... Because oh, you're not financially able. How about you not have the big wedding? How about you live below your means, right? Live basic. Just live basic. Why do you have to go above and beyond, right? If you're basic, see, women don't understand. They're basic and they don't want to be basic. That's what a lot of guys' arguments are. It's not about the 100,000. It's not about the 70,000. But, yeah, you want a guy making that much money and he has all the options. He doesn't want you. He doesn't want the other girl. He doesn't want a lot of these women. Kevin Samuels will show you women all the time. That's why I loved watching the show. Because I watch the show and women would be on thinking, I deserve this. And that, because that bubble was that princess bubble. I weigh 190. How tall you again? I'm 5'10. Has been, that fantasy has been in women's minds, told to them by their mothers and their grandmas. Do this, get the bag, and the guy's going to get you. Understand, Kevin. Not Samuel, every, there's men that I have different preferences as well. Not every woman wants a woman that is okay, average see, size. See, no. It's not true. Being here with us, and if you don't like our attitude, you don't like, so what? We don't care. We have cared for years. We have fought y'all battles for years. We have done everything, and we tired. And we're not doing it no more. Only thing we're doing is raising our children and having them at a high vibration so they don't have to deal with that where they're not loving themselves. That's what we over here doing. We're educating ourselves and we honoring our ancestors. We can give a damn about who don't like us. My degrees like me. Hey, y'all. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. You heard what she just said? I don't need passport bros. My degrees like me. That's the name of the title right there. My, I don't need passport bros. My degrees like me. Damn! That's the problem. Facts. Did you hear that? No. 
she's blaming on the men that are leaving what happened. She want the trauma for years. Trauma. Who gave you that trauma? I don't think it was any of us that gave you that trauma. Right? Did any man you date? I'm going to become a passport, bro. <laughs> be real now. Now, a lot of women that, that, that talk about passport bros, did any man you did? Probably a couple did. You probably getting those. You probably get, you know what? It's it's so vicious right now, and I got a number of love for it. Guys are going hard, though. I, I know you women are going through it because guys are like, yeah, that's what I'm going to become a passport bro. And I love it because it's true. It's true. But, because that probably happened to her too, right? But is any man that you're dating saying that? No, but the pressure's on with the passport bros, and she said it, man. Thanks for watching. This is the way. See the passport bros. Passport. No. It's more than life than dealing with you.